Hello and welcome to Story Skeptic. This week's thoughts are on improvisation in The Joker. I just learned that the bathroom scene right after he just killed three guys was actually improvised. And I just want to share this with you guys because I think the improvisation just made that scene so much better. This scene was probably the one that made the most impression the first time I saw the movie. So this scene occurs right after the conflict with the guys on the metro. And afterwards he's running, trying to get away and he runs into the bathroom. In an earlier script, the scene was written like this. Interior, public bathroom, Robinson Square Park, night. Joker runs into the bathroom, locks the door behind him and suddenly everything hits him all at once. He throws up in the dirty toilet, puking his guts out. He finishes, wipes his mouth with the back of his hand and pulls the gun out of his waist, looking around for some place to throw it out. Under the sink he sees a rusted metal grate hanging off the wall, covering some pipes. Before he bends down, Joker catches his reflection in the smudged mirror, sees himself holding the gun in his hand, beat. He raises the gun to his head and pulls the trigger. Click. It's empty. He gets down on his knees, sweat dripping off his face, pulls the grate away from the wall and tosses the gun away inside. Moves the grate back in place, Joker stands back up and turns on the faucets, rinses out his mouth, looks at his smudged reflection and starts washing the clown makeup of his sweaty face. Hi, do you like to laugh? Water dripping, white grease paint running off his face. Remember how I told you that I'm a stand-up comedian? Hi, how are you? Beat. Okay, so there's where the scene in the screenplay as written ends. But... At the day of the shoot, the director and Joaquin Phoenix talked about it. Would that make sense? Would Arthur actually be a guy who even thinks about hiding a murder weapon? And they kind of agreed that Arthur wouldn't do that. It wouldn't be in his character. And instead we get this unexpected but great scene. When he breaks out in this slow moving unchoreographed dance of emotions it really hits the music is haunting and just right and the cinematography is beautiful and the editing is really minimal they they cut exactly three times so we get these long slow shots just kind of flowing through his movements and you see the camera just tries to follow his motions so you kind of get this feeling of improvisation. This feeling that Arthur has in this moment. A feeling of almost euphoria. Towards the end of this dance, he looks himself in the mirror. And you can tell that he's pleased like this power pose he's holding. It's like he's done something great. Something larger than life. I almost I got goosebumps at that moment in the film. And it made the ending so much better. In the end we get the same pose, the powerful, almost Christ-like pose. But this time, it's not just this thing in his head. He has the whole crowd looking at him. It's a beautiful scene and it shows that in improvisation is where it's really where art can be found in films. And I think we like hearing that a great scene in a movie was improvised because it feels more real to us, more lifelike. Unlike movies, in real life, you'll never have rehearsed lines ready to go. Every day, you'll have to improvise.